I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to play Iconoclasts, so I was like, okay, how about instead of playing that video game, I play something else. Because uh, the problem with Iconoc Iconoclasm is it's, I don't, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> um, it's, it's done to no. Don't put those mini games in moments so far, and there's so many cutscenes that I don't care about. You know, here's a good question. Why is it a Metrovania when it clearly would have benefited from being just a linear game? Here's the all-important thing that everyone needs to answer. Do you suffer loot narrative dissonance? Because a Metroidvania isn't about being on the run. It's about having the liberty to do whatever the fuck you feel like. In a good Metroidvania, it's like, here's a place. Have fun. And, and then the video game just kind of vanishes. And, and you get to do what you want. And there's all kinds of cool moves that you learn organically or you already have. And you have to learn them. But, I don't know. Something about this game is like, here's signposts. And I'm like, okay. You know, I never considered Brinstar like the tutorial area, but I guess if you put it like that, I guess it kind of is. I like how no one gives a shit about the administrator. Oh, because she had. Ah, she didn't appear yet. I, I like this ending a lot for an interesting reason. So, I want you to think about this ending in like the context. This is not Azumi, this is you. You don't care! So, naturally the person like, okay, mission complete, but I gotta save humanity. Some one of us, oh, I'll do it. I'm, I'm too tired anyway. <laughs> I like to imagine there's just a timeline where Izumi tried to look like you to pull it off herself and it kind of flunked, and she was like, well, that plan didn't work. Which is kind of weird, because isn't time travel all about being able to try something indef indefinitely until chance takes over? Okay, so this is kind of interesting. There is the possibility that Azumi kind of saw this coming. I was like, I need the administrator to be uh, some anything up until this point. Like, wouldn't that make sense? Wouldn't it be, like, interesting if Azumi has died before and it was like, well, if you take over and there's, like, no stand on, the whole thing falls apart. That'd be an interesting, interesting thing to talk about. On the other hand, it also feels like this is done primarily as as a like I don't know which came first, apple or the egg. Probably the apple, then the egg, because that's how logic works. The apple is, begins with the letter A. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, ba da ba ba da ba. That's a joke.
Man, it's gotta be super hard to be someone else all of a sudden. Interesting. That she, she left notes like this. I imagine that she might have gone back in time like a little bit before this. And then she tuned it to it. Because it's entirely possible that Azumi actually knows about this to some extent. And that's spooky. This is uh this this is kind of neat. I like this technical detail because your character's like, I don't know how this works. I tried my best, but unfortunately, I fucked it up. Eventually, you'd get it right, but the eventuallys are, I guess, not that interesting. And it's like, oh, we'll just ignore those, which is all right, I guess. I'm surprised you don't attack yourself, but that'd be a weird thing to explain. I'm changing this a bit, just to make it a bit more clear what's being said. So, I had no idea. I did the plan exactly she prescribed, and I'm no portal expert. I'm including that little line so that you're like, but why wouldn't you just do it better? Well, because you don't know. Azumi prescribes you the exact steps, and if someone writes you the exact steps, that's all you can get away with. So, I've started to come to a more explainable conclusion. So, it is entirely possible that what's going on here is a little bit more straightforward than you might think. The portal, the giant generator is actually a much more refined and a much... Like, try to imagine it like this. They ultimately need to get a very high-powered uh, circuit, but in order to do that, they need, like, the generator for conversion or something. Like, I've come to the idea that the generator, the big generator, is a different model that the dragons can't replicate. Like, they know how to make these little baby things. These tiny little... They, they make fist-sized generators that power a house. But this thing is like a nuclear reactor that can power an entire metropolis without problem. That's because... I, it's never explained what kind of tier we're working with, but that would kind of explain it. Because if you can only make house-sized, and you're dealing with something that can power an entire goddamn city, yeah, you probably couldn't fix that in a few weeks. Which is kind of a question this, this never answers, which it really should have. Like, just 
do a throwaway line with like the dragons can only make these tiny generators and it would take forever to make to equal the power. But considering Reza carries in a cardboard box, it just feels kind of weird. Uh, okay, so I changed a bit. Uh, are you insane? At first, I don't know how that's supposed to happen. Or maybe he's tried. I don't know. Uh, I might change that and just being like, uh, he, could, he can force you with his gun, force you to take the lock off, and he can kill you to use your body. I decided to add a little line. We're not immortal, and our plan is not unstoppable. Because I really think that there should have been a point where it's like, listen, this plan has a lot of chances, but you don't have infinity chances. Ugh. <sighs> I wonder what happens if you go back in time and Azumi is there. That'd be weird. Like, oh boy. Man, I don't have much to say because this is an interesting conversation to have. Like a conversation with yourself. Also, I'm trying to get this done. So that we can move on to the... We've got two more endings to go. we got the super true ending and we got the secret ending. Then I'm done. That's so weird to think about. Ah!
Man, this is a bit longer than I thought it would be. Okay, this explains a lot. So if you are the person that goes back and that that stays, then that means that this loop kind of like you go in, you go out. You go in a like instead of straying in the straight line like a zoomie does, you kind of move in, in in like these slanted ones. Like you become a zoomie and then you slide back out into the timeline again. Which is an interesting way of putting it and I like it. Oh, no, that's what that one means. Okay. <laughs> if we wanted to give up, we had enough exits to exit. Enough stopped comets. Ah, oh, that's a nice one. It doesn't sound as good in English, but it works. Oh, that's a good bird. God damn it, Koma, that's a good bird. Look at that little red and yellow boy. Mm. Mm. Man, this is, uh, I, I like the implication that you, that you decide to take over for him. And that's why you don't have any control in this section. Hopefully, me! <laughs> why is it all capital at the end? I love to shout things when, when, when they're weirdly in all caps. Oh, that's so bad, because you know either way. Man, can, can a Dean even afford this? Like, how the hell do you make your money? Also, Reza... Oh, man. Oh, I love your character. This, this sells to me. Because if you were in control, if this was you in this ending, wouldn't you have been given an option to be like, uh, I, Reza did what he believed was right, even if it was wrong. Um, you know, like, you would have some options, and it would be interesting options. Like, you agree with Reza, but you disagree with what he did. Um, or, or maybe you're like, ah, he's just nuts. Man. So, I decided to, to cut this out, 
to, to, to make like, well... Because you know! Why would you need to repeat that? Just be like, eh, because I don't think Adina's the kind of person to bring up death that lightly. Unless her parents are dead, which is never explained. So, what if they do re reconnect? Like, what, what's your next? What's your next step, boy? Oh, I love that non-committal line. Like, there's some really good writing that's, like, non-committed to make the player character more flexible. Like, good job on that, especially if English isn't your first language. It's hard to do without it sounding either clumsy or very localized. Or just directly translated. Man, this setting is not as, as sweet as I imagine being. It's kind of eh. It's kind of you gotta want this or it's just eh. Decisions. Oh. Oof. Oof. So, there we go. The last real ending. I'm nervous because... Uh, we're, we'll get to this in a second. I do like this ending. It's it's one of the better ones because it actually goes into one of the bigger questions that's super, super scary. So, now we get to a part that I've been fearing. So, the good ending has a problem. It's massive! <laughs> and 90% of it is just characters talking and talking and fucking talking. <laughs> and not much happens. Like, there's the plan, but the, the plan is like the, the, the one part and it's... Mm, Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is there? Are there are there even any options? No. There is no choice. <sighs> Next time. I guess we're... it's about time to say goodbye. Oh man, I'm glad all this got cut out. I appreciate this. They could have done so much more with this ending. But next time... I don't know. I don't want to do this, because it's... Uh, I mean, look at this. We're starting off with like... F mm. 